Shaquana coming to you loud, live in the color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm going to go on ahead and do it. Since I was sitting up here eating, I decided to go ahead and just show, show, show y'all my little food. I got some fried chicken. I mean, I got some fried fish, y'all. I had three pieces, but this one. Oh, it's a little old skimpy little old piece. So why I sit up here and show y'all that little old skimpy little piece? But I got two big pieces right here, and I just broke off this one little piece right here. And I want to have a conversation with y'all. Okay, about respect. Okay. <sighs> a lot of people lack common respect. Especially for people that you call your family and you call your friends. You know, you, when it comes to respect, a lot of people think, okay, this person would never do this to me. This person would never do that to me. This person would never say this. This person would never say that. You know. You hang your hat on that. You expect people to treat you the way you would treat them. Um, if you have private conversations, you would expect people to keep them private conversations to, your, to themselves. Never spill what y'all have talked about. Um, you expect people to not, you know, try to start drama. But some people don't don't have that same respect for you. Um, you, how, how can I say this? You just want people to treat you the way that you treat them. Do them the way you just want them to do you the way that you do them. Um, and when you are mistreated by people, at the blue, you are looking like, well, damn, where did that come from? Why did you... Why did you do that? Why did you say that? Why did you feel the need to go out your way to 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 do that? People forget the meaning of respect and true friendship. People forget what you have done for them in the sake of yourself. They get blinders on and they want to treat you a certain way because they've opened their eyes to other, you know, friendships situations, opportunities. So now that they've gotten these new friendships, these new opportunities, these new things around them, they forget about you. They forget about the respect that y'all have built between um, amongst the two of y'all. I let me Pepsi. Um, but um, they forget the respect and the and the camaraderie and the loyalty that you have built together. Once these opportunities come about, these new friends come about, these new 
trinkets, these new deals, these new whatever. Once these things come into play, they forget that you even exist sometimes. And they feel like they can just treat you in a kind of way and say anything they want to say to you. And you're supposed to accept the treatment and just move on as if you just did not get the rug pull from my arm on your feet. You were like, well, damn, what did I just do to you? You know, if you cannot always have respect for your family and your friends, just be by yourself. Don't bother with nobody. Go to work, do your job, go to the family function, have a good time, especially here on YouTube. Do your job on YouTube, hang out with your family, do your job at work, go home. Go home. Don't bother with nobody. Do your job. Do what you got to do to make it through that day. Through that family function. Or through that collaboration. Or through that video that you got to do on YouTube. You know, make it through that. Put your video out. Read the comments. Respond to the comments. Delete people. I mean, delete the comments. Block the people. Whatever you got to do, go to work, deal with your boss, deal with your co-workers, you know, be cordial. That's the best way for me to put that. Be cordial and go on about your business. Because people forget the meaning of the word respect. They forget that. They don't, they don't, they don't know the meaning of the word, word respect when they get in different positions. They start hanging out with certain people. They get these different opportunities in life. You know, they they forget about the things that you've done for them, the things that you have done in the past, the present, and the things that you may have done for them in the future. Because they have lost respect for you, and that's and that's a, that's a shame when I mean, people lose respect for you, and you don't even know why that they've lost that respect. They left you to figure out what you've done, if you've done anything. You try to go over the past few days, the past few weeks to figure out, well, maybe I did something. Let me see. Let me sit down and think about that thing and see what I did wrong. You know, what did I do? What did I say wrong? What, you know, what didn't I do? You know, what could I have done differently? To make this person, you know, keep the same respect that they've always had. When the answer is, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything. You've always been who you was. You you, you are who you will always I be. I y'all, but I got a phone call. But um, like I was saying, you're going to always be who, who you're going to be. And you should not never change for anybody. You should always just show the respect that you will want somebody to give to you. And if you cannot do that, cut people off. 
cut people out your life because they don't mean you no good at all. They could care less about you and the way you feel and how you feel. Protect your peace. Protect your integrity. Protect who you are. Because you is only you are only who you have to to help you in this world. You only got you. And sometimes you'll meet people that got your back and you know help you out in this world. And then you got people that wouldn't give a damn about you. So you must always depend on yourself and why you depend on yourself, demand respect from people. Okay, demand respect. Because if you're out here giving the respect that people are asking for, there's nothing wrong with you asking for that respect in return. That's all I am saying. But um, I hope that y'all get something out of this message. Um, I, It was on my heart and I just needed to say it. But um, if you made it to the end of my video, give me those big thumbs up. Get this video to 30 likes, 30 views. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you're an old subscriber, make sure your notifications are on. Share my videos. Like I always say, have fun playing with your nails. If you wear nails or if you're growing your own, have fun playing with your makeup. If you wear makeup or you're just learning how to use it. And y'all, please live a life because God only gives you one. Bye, y'all.